of Snatch Snatch Squad. It is your girl Celeste Renee and I am back with another video. Wow, when I just closed my eyes I saw like scales, like not weight scales, like fish scale. Anyways, that was kind of creepy. Uh, <laughs> but what is up you guys? I don't know why I'm talking low. It's like morning time, but like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking so low, but anyways. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Celeste Renee and I am back with another video and today I am doing a how I lost 10 pounds in a week. So like I told you guys, I'm doing this 90 day challenge with my gym again and y'all know I did it last year. We didn't get to finish so we're doing it again this year and so your girl has been focused, working out like a maniac and trying to get these results because honey, Miss Mama's... <laughs> She put on some weight during quarantine. Like, this challenge, I was heavier this time than I was the last challenge. So, like, I I was at my heaviest weight, y'all. I was at 256. Girlfriend was, like, a big in for myself. If you're weight 256 and you're happy with that, power to you. But the way these needs are set up, mm -mm, it wasn't going to work. So, anyways, this video, I said I was going to record increments of 10. So, every time I lost 10 pounds, I recorded. it. So, I lost... Technically, this video should have been recorded like two weeks ago, so I'm actually like currently at 20 pounds lost, but I said I was going to do a 10 pound increment each time, so I'm doing the 10 pound one, so y'all can see the pictures, and then like maybe in two weeks I'll do the 20 pound one, and hopefully by the time I do the 20 pound one, I would have lost 30 pounds, because my goal is to get to 199, and y'all probably like, girl, that's like over 50 pounds lost in three months, I know, pretty extreme goal, if it doesn't happen, it's fine, honestly, I'm like really like, liking the way I look now so yeah I'm not gonna tell y'all the current way because you know it's like a little secret it's not a secret I should my way with y'all now but I want y'all to like see the video so you can like see the pictures and stuff but anyways let's get started so your girl has officially lost 10 pounds in a week and what I did was basically I worked out all the damn time <laughs> Y'all are probably like, girl, can you give us some realistic tips? But no, for real, some things that I actually did, like, I'm not going to, you already know if you work out and eat right, you'll lose weight. But some of the things that I did that I think really helped me, one was meal prepping. I meal prep everything. Like, I meal prep. And if you're like me, I'm working from home. So it's kind of like, normally when I was in the office pre-COVID, like, it was, I would meal prep and it would be a big deal because I'm, like, eating at work. So I'm just warming it up and still, like, doing stuff at work. But like meal prepping at home is kind of difficult for me. So what I do is like I prepare the foods, like I don't cook them. I cook them at home. So for example, if I'm having egg whites and spinach for the week, I'll like portion out like the one fourth cup, because I was eating one fourth cup of egg whites and spinach for breakfast and two grapefruit, half a grapefruit. So I would portion it out, cut the grapefruits up, portion out the um, egg whites. Sorry, there's like, they're doing a lot of construction. I'm like, what? But, um, so all I had to do in the morning was just, like, pour it in and cook it. Because meal prepping is all good and dandy. But when you're working from home, child, it's hard. Like, you feel like you're eating the same thing and you're, like, at home. So, like, I found out for me what works is if I actually, like, cook it. Like, make it fresh. So that's what I do. Now, lunch and dinner are chicken. So I don't, I don't cook those. I cook them, um, on Sunday and I just warm them up. So like, I put in the air fryer, unless I'm having chicken thighs. If I'm having chicken thighs, then I'll cook those, um, child, these damn collies. I'll <laughs> cook those in the air fryer, just because, honestly, I'm kind of over chicken, but if I cook it in the air fryer and let it get really crispy and put hot sauce on it, child, I'm not calling double times. I need to climb. Y'all, these spam collies, they is really out here, like, honey, why are you calling me? They think we dumb or something like spam collars, a joke. So anyways, um, that's what I did with that. So let's get into it. So the first thing I did was meal prep. Like I said, that's a little tip if you're working from home. Just try to like cook the meals at home, like fresh for every meal. It helps a little bit. I actually committed to drinking water. Like I drink, all I have in my house is water. Like I don't buy juices or anything, but I realized like I have these, but sometimes I don't finish it. So I drink literally in the, cause I'm working out in the morning and the afternoon. So two a days. So like I'll drink in the morning time for my workout. I'll drink one of these. And then when I come back in the afternoon, I'll have another one. So I'll just, whatever I don't finish in the morning, I will like sip throughout the day and then I'll fill up another one. So that has been helping a lot, drinking a lot of water. 
I think it's really been helping. And another thing that I did that is so different, actually, let me go grab it. is I started taking these new chapter every woman's one daily whole food multivitamins fermented for absorption immune energy stress and beauty support so I started taking these I got this from H-E-B of course I already know everything I get is from H-E-B like just if I don't say it and it's like a grocery product it's from H-E-B if it's not from H-E-B I'll let you know but child everything's from H-E-B so I started taking these y'all because I just feel like y'all about to be 28 this year and you're gonna be 28 like girl you need to take some vitamins honey you are getting old like girl get your body together so i got these little things and honey they're big i take them for breakfast because i mean i don't have an issue swallowing pills but they're kind of big y'all can kind of see that um y'all know my camera be acting a fool they kind of big so i did that and there's one other thing i did oh so as far as recovery because y'all probably like girl you're working out two times a day like pretty much six days a week sundays is my worst day one thing i really have been doing that's been helping me to keep motivated and to keep just like going child i'm put y'all in game so y'all i don't know if y'all know dr seals okay so dr seals is like like bath product they have like epsom salt and by bath they, they just, it's like a bath line anyways but they have like an epsom salt line and y'all when i tell you like every other day i take like a hot epsom salt bath like the one i prefer it's like the it's called it's dr chill's ginger and clay it's like a detox oh it's so good it smells so good that really has been helping my body because i got bad knees and so that helps and then i brought another one the other day it's cannabis it's not can it's not like marijuana it's like cbd you get what i'm saying like i i cbd is cannabis right cannabis cbd i'm pretty sure it's the same thing it's like cannabis saliva 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 anyways whatever if you want to check it out go check it out i don't know how to say it. clearly i don't smoke weed so i don't have anything against people who smoke weed it's just not my thing i've tried it it just don't work out for my me and my system i'm just going to do my wine after this 90 days so but anyway so that has helped and also i got some cbd oil and I've been rubbing it on my knees and icing my knees and putting heat on my knees. And that has really been helping. So overall, guys, um, this is tea. This is called tea. I love tea. I love tea. Like, I love tea. I drink it by itself. Like, I just warm up a thing and put tea in your hot water, put my tea bag in, and just drink it straight. Like, no sugar. I don't like sugar in my tea. Unless it's, like, sweet tea. But... I just like it straight like that. But anyways, those are the things I have been doing, y'all. That's how I literally lost 10 pounds in one month. I was about to cuss. In one week. And I was so proud of myself because, of course, like, when you're losing weight, the first 10 pounds is, like, normally water weight anyways because prior to the challenge, y'all, I was going in. Like I said, I was my heaviest. So, like, I'm not going to be lying. Y'all know I like to keep it real. The first 10 pounds, I think, really was water weight. So, like, I don't really, like... I'm proud of myself for it, but I think that's like the easiest weight to lose. But now this last 10 pounds, this 20 pounds I didn't lost, child, this is hard work put in. So when I do that video in two weeks, y'all will see it. And hopefully y'all can see the pictures. I have the before and after pictures. It's going to be in the thumbnail so y'all can see it. Um, but yeah, y'all, I am officially down 10 pounds. And so hopefully by the time this 90 day challenge is over, your girl would have been down. If I get to 199, that means I lost 57 pounds in three months which is insane but like I say y'all I'm really like in a different mind space where I'm just like focusing on me like loving myself and the things I see in the mirror and so if I lose another 10 pounds and I'm happy with that then that's just what it's gonna be and also I body fat too weighs in and all that but anyways y'all that is that your girl is down 10 pounds and I will talk to you guys later bye